Hello gorgeous soul, welcome to Weekly Astrology and it's a big cosmic shift this week. We have Mercury and the Sun going into Taurus, making it fully Taurus season. Yeah, it creates a massive shift for us all. On top of that, we have Mars, the planet of action, going into cosy Cancer. Here's your Weekly Astrology. Hey Scorpio, when you were born, you sort of come through in, into this world slightly deeper than other people. You've been here many times before and so some people may say you're a bit more suspicious of other people because you've been there, you've been hurt and you're a very, very old and deep soul. However, having said that, when you do merge with other people, when you do trust, you tend to do it wholeheartedly, but you won't just do it with anyone. It has to be a very special being. Interestingly enough, this week, the whole vibe for you is all about your balance and harmony and intimacy with others and anything to do with partnerships and one-to-one -one relationships. But also on top of that, you finding harmony within yourself. You know, that gentle space where you just feel at peace. And because you feel everything and you're so deep, sometimes that's difficult to reach that place. But this week offers you that opportunity. Firstly, we have um, Mercury and the Sun both going into your relationship zone and they're joining forces there. So the Sun is about your confidence. You're feeling confidence that you can invite beauty and harmony into your life. And hopefully you're feeling a little bit more optimistic about finding peace within any one-to-one -one relationship. Also, the sun is giving you the confidence and Mercury is giving you the words. If you tune into that energy, you, you should find it's easier to speak and express yourself and you're confident in what you've got to say. Now, this vibe of relationships, harmony, beauty and balance is threaded throughout the week. We also have the sun trine moon. That's just so lovely. You know, the sun, which is very outgoing and confident. Then we have the moon, which is just as strong as the sun, if not stronger in some ways, who's deep feeling and intuitive. And you find your balance in groups of people as well around the April the 22nd. Or, well, the purpose of astrology is so that you use that energy. You can use that energy on that day to do that. We have Mars entering your adventure zone as well. So you're feeling wild and free spirited and open to new experiences this week and also full of energy and optimism, which is perfect. Venus is joining forces with Uranus um, and Mercury is joining forces with Uranus. So there's this spontaneity around love and partnerships. I have to say also the big news of this week is that Pluto, your ruler, is going retrograde, is going backwards. Uh, no, hang on a minute. That's next week. Ignore that. <laughs> Prepare yourself for next week because Pluto's going retrograde. It is not this week. Anyway, sorry, I, I was looking ahead. So anyway, don't look ahead. Be in the moment of harmony and balance and joy and have a lovely, lovely time because next week there's lessons to be learned. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon.